What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rebecca Raquel and I'm here to bring you another video. Now today's video is going to be another home decor video. It is a DIY vase design. Now we already all have a vase or two or three sitting in our homes collecting dust without even using it. So why not take that vase and make it your own? Now what I love about this project is that it literally takes no supplies to do it honestly. You just need tape, scissors and some spray paint so we can take our vases from this to that now let's jump right into the video and i hope you guys enjoy please don't forget to like show your girl some love comment and subscribe now here's a quick look of a vase that i've actually done this method on and this vase is from my mini home makeover video if you have not seen that video please go and check that out so here's a quick close-up of the vase so you can see actually what it looks like i've gotten so many compliments on that vase and since i didn't show me actually doing the vase in my home makeover video i said you know what let me come back and show everybody what i did this is another vase that I actually did and of course it's gold so it's in my bedroom and it's actually on my nightstand but the vase that I'll be showing you guys that I'll be doing is another vase that I had actually on my desk area and if you remember the vase in my home makeover video it actually had like shell casings in it but I took the shell casings out and I wanted to move this vase into my living room so I'm going to do this one silver because my living room is gray now there's a vase there. I already started one side and I decided to make it go quicker. It's probably easier for me to just cut the strips and have them pre-ready. Now the great thing about doing this type of method is that there is no right or wrong way to do it. You literally make it the way you want. It's your design. So I'm just cutting all the strips and putting them to the side so I have them pre-ready and then I'm going to place the strips onto my vase to create my design. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me uh, put the tape onto the vase and I will come in with some commentary when needed. Now as you can see at some point I'm actually taking the tape and wrapping it inside the inside of the vase which is absolutely fine because that will not affect anything and just make sure that when you are cutting your pieces and placing them onto the vase that you are making sure that they overlap each other. You don't want to have any weird spots on the vase where uh, there's like breaks in where the spray paint is. You want everything to be seamless, even and controlled.
Now, once you're finished putting your tape on your vase, you are ready for the spray painting portion of this project. And there is a specific way that you need to spray paint the vase so that you do not mess up your design. You do not want to spray paint your vase with the bottom of your vase facing up so that the opening of your vase is exposed. Because when you're spray painting, the spray paint will get into the opening of your vase and that will mess up your design. Always make sure that the bottom of the vase is facing upward so that the opening of your vase is not exposed and you will not get spray paint inside of the vase. Now the spray paint that I will be using is the same spray paint that I use for my home makeover project and there it is. If you would like to purchase it, I will put the link down below as well. So I'm just going to spray paint the uh, vase really quickly. You don't want to put too much spray paint on because you don't want any there to be any like drip lines on your vase. So I'm just spray painting like a light coating um, and then maybe in an hour or two I'll go back and you know do another coating just lightly uh, just to make sure everything is covered. But you do want to make sure that everything is evenly distributed onto the vase so that everything looks very uniformed. Ideally you wouldn't want to spray paint in your home but I just went ahead and did it anyway. It was a small vase and also you wouldn't want to spray paint so close to the vase. I was trying to hold my phone and actually spray paint at the same time so I was definitely close to the vase but you really don't want to do that ideally. So here is the vase the next day. I let it dry overnight. So right now I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. I'll start to take off the painter's tape so you can start to see what our design actually looks like. I also do have my straight edge with me um, and I'm just going to use that to clean up any areas that I feel need cleaning and I'll show you that in a moment. And here's a quick look of what the vase looks like with all the painters tape off. I really love the way it came out. I love the design. I love the way it looks. It's perfect. Now there are a couple of areas on the vase that I do need to clean up. So again, I'm just going to take my straight edge and literally just scrape the spray paint off of the vase just to clean up those little areas that I feel, you know, need a little work. So here's a couple of pictures of what the vase looked like in the end. I love the way it turned out and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.